Hello, Nick here from Technovo, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have this with me and it is the Marshall Emberton 2 portable Bluetooth speaker. Note I said two, this is the second generation. I've tried a few products from Marshall now with the last being the Motif earbuds and they were fantastic. I still use them a lot today. If you're in the market for some new buds that aren't white and from Apple, I'll drop a link on screen now. Right, let's check out this little speaker. Out of the box, I just love it. If you play guitar or you've been in a band playing something else or you've been to a gig and you've seen what Marshall amps look like in the flesh, it's iconic and they've continued that appearance through their speakers, earbuds and headphones, which I think is absolutely fantastic. The speaker has that faux leather snakeskin finish wrapped around the sides, then this crisscross grille to the front and back. And of course, the front grille has that iconic gold Marshall logo as well. To the top, a large gold button that you hold in to power on off the device or play pause. Then push it to the left or right, up or down to control volume and content. To the left of the gold button, a Bluetooth connection button. And then to the right, a battery indicator that has 10 small red lights showing the remaining battery level in increments of 10%. On the right hand side is a USB-C port used for charging. And it's also worth noting that the speaker sits on a thin rubber base, keeping it sturdy on your surface. Size wise, it's certainly handheld and it was comfortable to carry around in one hand. As for weight, it's not too heavy, but then it also doesn't feel really cheap and lightweight either. If in your backpack it shouldn't cause too much concern. It also feels very well constructed and robust. I get the feeling it can get knocked around or dropped a little bit and it will survive. It is also IP67 so it will withstand the odd splash of water. Spec wise connectivity is via Bluetooth 5.1 only. There are no wired ports available at all. It's got two two inch speakers with a 10 watt output each plus two passive radiators facing outwards from either side so the speaker delivers sound from the front and the back. Battery life is stated at over 30 hours with a charge time of around three hours. There is no microphone built into the speaker so this is no good for making calls if you do that with Bluetooth speakers. Marshall does also have their own app which is compatible with the Emberton so you can boot up the app to offer equalizer options and push firmware updates out to the speaker. Lastly if you bought two speakers which I know is a tad expensive you can pair the two and stack them like a cab for double the experience kind of. Set up and using the speaker is very straightforward. Turn it on, it will go into pairing mode, pair it with your smartphone or other device and away you go. The multi-directional button on the top of the speaker works well. It's very easy to push up or down for volume control left or right to change your tracks. I did download the Marshall app again, which I used with the Motif earbuds and it added a fair amount of functionality. However, with the speaker, not so much. There are just three EQ presets, Marshall, and then push, which is boosted bass and treble. And then the last one is voice, which gives more clarity. Switching between the three is instantaneous and you can hear a difference straight away. You cannot edit those EQs or create your own, unfortunately, just yet, but it may come in the future. The app also allows you to pair two Embertons together and do that stacking thing. Plus, it will send out firmware updates as well. What Marshall has done in such a small form factor, hats off to them. I listen to a lot of rock music, so the Marshall EQ, their signature sound suited me down to a T. At low volumes, it's very pleasant. I'd have the speaker playing while working. It's not overly boomy, and the mix is fairly balanced, so you get a little thud from the bass drum. Vocals are crisp and prominent. Turn the volume up a little bit to mid volume and that's the sweet spot for me. More than loud enough to fill any room in my house, the quality is good, the highs and mids do overpower the bass just a little bit, but there is a small rumble on my desk. However, if you turn this all the way up to the maximum volume, it just cannot cope, the quality drops, it gets a bit tinny, it's overly crisp, the bass is lacking and it's not very enjoyable at all. This is a portable Bluetooth speaker. If you need something with a little more juice, Marshall do do bigger speakers for that very reason. So you've got to decide on that balance before purchasing. Okay, so this isn't an ideal setup, but here is the Emberton in action.
So there we have it. That was the new Marshall Emberton 2 Bluetooth speaker. I think it looks fantastic. It sounds very good when used for its purpose. Don't turn that volume all the way up. It's got a good battery life. It can withstand a knock. It's splash proof and it's portable. Price wise, this retails at $149.99 here in the UK, which is on the higher side of the market. And I think you are paying a bit of a premium because of the brand. The previous model can be bought slightly cheaper. And from what I can see online, they should perform the same, but the first model does have a smaller battery. As you can see from this video, the speaker I have is black, but Marshall has said this will be available in cream too, which looks pretty smart and it's got that more vintage look to it. That's a wrap on this video. If you have stuck around until the end, then thank you very much. And if you want to see more from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.